Well, you've got to say, and uh, Ronnie failing to pot a ball for 37 minutes. Um, and I was actually asking you guys, from Ronnie's point of view, how will, how will you think he'd view this match-up with Judd today? Drawing from your own experience of the king of the moment against the young pretender. Judging, judging it from my own experience of when I used to play players, younger players, the ones that were the really talented ones, you didn't really want to be playing against. You knew what they were capable of. Uh, in, my, in my period of time I was playing the game, there weren't that many that were sustained players, that playing to that level uh, of consistency. But, but Judd Trump's another problem for that, for, from Ronnie's perspective, because he plays consistently as well as brilliantly. So it's an interesting matchup, and, and he's got him cold at the moment. He sure has, almost, almost doing the bullying, Judd. Yeah, if you could argue he's, he's doing the intimidation to, to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Um, I don't think Ronnie O'Sullivan will be. There'll be no panic in, at the moment. He knows he's, you know, he's, he's a brilliant, brilliant player. He's not out of this final at all. But he's, he's, he's had a comfortable passage. OK, yesterday's match against Ding. The way he was going 4 0, it should have been more comfortable than perhaps it ended up. But it's, he's not had to play his <coughs> absolute best to get to the final. Now, all of a sudden, he's got someone who's not intimidated by him and, and who Ronnie knows is not intimidated by him. So. It's, it's hard just to start. It's not that simple just to change a gear when you need to. Absolutely, and he's struggled a little bit. You got to say with his safety so far in this match. But yeah, I mean, you know, he hasn't he hasn't had any table time to get settled down, uh, and, and it's a very important part. It doesn't matter who you are, you need to settle down in a match, and every day is a different day. The interesting thing will now be, as Stephen and myself have had like, plenty of experience, when you get somebody in, in this situation, as Judge got Ronnie at the moment. The longer you can keep him in that situation, the more you can build up the lead, yeah. the more you, you give yourself a comfort zone. Yeah. So there's pressure on you as well. So, so Judd will be as desperate, really, to win this fourth frame to really keep the pressure on Ronnie O'Sullivan. So, sure, yeah. Yeah, so it's all sort of raised up, even though it may look one-sided. And one thing we were talking about, Stephen, was that Judd Trump again used every minute available to him on the practice table, using the match table as practice. This is now allowed. We've seen it here for the Masters for the first time, and he's used it very effectively every yeah, time. Yeah, he told us last night, he said, I, I do it because it makes me feel comfortable when the match actually starts. It feels like I'm just carrying on from actually playing. I think he had almost 20 minutes out there today. And as you say, he's literally out and then back in, and it just feels like he's carrying on that practice. So it's, um, yeah, it's been very useful from this week. He's certainly been in stroke right from the off, hasn't he, Steve? He certainly has. Uh, uh, you know, Ronnie O'Sullivan uh, has, as we probably thought, not not bothered to take his allotted 10 minutes to practice time. You know, the players, the players have practiced over the play, and it's not like they're yeah. not in stroke. But walking out there, if you get off to a poor start in a match, you've got to dig yourself out of the hole. Yeah. Also, Judd is now it's 3 0 up, so now he's got Ronnie to stay in the moment, break. play one frame at a time. He doesn't want to start thinking ahead, what lead can I get going Thank into you. tonight? He's got to keep playing one frame at a time. Right, we go, last one before the interval. So, Ronnie O'Sullivan breaks off in this fourth frame. And it's better. Excellent break. It's early days, uh, John, but uh, big frame for Ronnie O'Sullivan here, just before the interval. Yes, he's uh, gifting too many chances to Judd. If he misses a pink, which I don't think he will. Oh, yeah. and a miss. And to Ronnie play that with an six. awful lot of right-hand side. Yeah. I expect. Judd to uh, give too many points away, a big target that, clusters of reds. But uh, as we always say, and, uh, and I know we sound as though we're repeating ourselves, I don't think you ever settle until you get a frame on the scoreboard, and Ronnie's no different to, to anybody me? else. No. And he'll be a little bit shocked sitting in his chair as well with the start that he's had here. Well, as I said, he won't panic. Long long way to go but he needs to get a few balls get his arm going that glaring miss in that last frame particularly the one into the middle pocket yeah, yeah. Ronnie thank you will certainly worry him slightly Judge has just got to he's trying to swear of it so he gets far enough up the cushion with a a little bit of the left hand side. Now the side's got to take, and he's got to miss the pink, and he has done much better. 
touching ball. Yeah, touching ball, so Ronnie can just play away and back up to the bulk area. Now this will just test Ronnie slightly. He can't hit these reds too thick because of the black. But he's got to avoid the bump on the middle pocket. That's better. Red in the middle of the table, Ronnie's just having a look at it, but he'd like to have his hand on the table to take that red on so he could screw the cue ball back. He's playing it off the ball cushion, makes the pot much more difficult. If he could put his hand on the table, it's a slightly easier shot, but this is a tough one. Oh, that's brilliant! Fantastic pot! Will that give him a little bit of inspiration? Couldn't have cued that any better. And it's so tough off the rail, John. If his hand is on the table, it just makes it a slight bit easier. But cueing off the rail, that was excellent. Yes, it really was. And uh, I think it got to the situation you were looking to Ronnie to make something happen. He did with that pot. Now, can he make the most of this opportunity? He's looking to play the red that's on and around the black spot here to clear the black spot area. Thought that was Seven. a bit too risky. He doesn't really want to be playing the black, but he might not have no option here. Pots the black, he'll have to go up on the brown spot. It appears. Yes, no other spot available, highest available, brown 14. spot. Now which red can he play to possibly play for the pink to the middle? The only reason I say that, then he wouldn't have to play it with too much pace. 15. He's on it. to the middle of the pocket. 21. And because of that, just have a look at the pink here. Went into the far jaw. Because of that, he's not on the red. Tried to get on the red at the bottom of the pack, just below the pink. Pull the cue ball back far enough. This is a bit more difficult. In fact, he didn't even Sullivan. attempt the pot. So just a good safety, and he's got that as well. Good shot. 
Another chance. Not much to show for it. Foul. And a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Yeah, he's just trying to lay into those just those two reds just below the pink and to the left. Delicate little shot. It's pretty good. Same target for Ronnie up behind the yellow. Too much side on it this time. Yep, it'll be disappointed with that once again. It's in a well, it's in the black, but it was on the bolt line. Okay, Judd Trump's hampered here, so doesn't make this guaranteed safety. He's made a good job of it. Good shot. Well, I don't know what it is, but uh, Ronnie's not started off well in this match. Once again, much too thick. When you consider he was trying to get that cue ball near the bolt line, you can see, or the bolt cushion, you can see how far he's sure he was. Didn't even get to the bolt line. Okay, he may not have left anything that Judd will be tempted by, but he can't keep leaving these mid range pots for Judd. There'll only be one outcome. That's the part of the game that Judd has matured most at over the last 12 months. May have taken that red on, which was a difficult one and never possibility of getting onto a colour, but just trying to keep his opponent under the gun here. Again, going to try and swing the cue ball. Back around to that target of yellow and brown and black. Four cushions again. Not the best. It's okay. Just, yeah, he's disappointed. He's just, he's hitting everything a little bit. Too full at the moment. Not getting the right connection on his object ball. One. Blue Excellent pot. pot. Well, nicely controlled. Cannon into the pink just to hold the cue ball. Nicely on. A couple of reds here. Six. Seven. Big chance now this for Judd to go into the mid-session interval with a 4-0 lead. Would have been beyond his wildest dreams in this match. Just want to be looking over his shoulder and thinking about the enormity of what he's doing. Just concentrate, shot for shot, and so far he's doing that. 
not being rushed into anything. Now, can he get through to this red near the left corner? 13. I'm looking at his body language. He may not have screwed back far enough. Careless if he's not on it, and he's not on it. Just shows you can think and take you all the time in the world, but you've still got to hit the ball correctly. Mm. And he didn't get into that cue ball enough. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed. Well, is he going to take this red on? Wow, this is risky. Trying to put it into this bottom hand corner pocket. Oh, what a shot. What a shot with the rest. Two reds. 15. Wow. Well, you won't see many better, better rest shots than that. Have a look at this again. Yeah, and I can imagine what we'd have said if it hadn't gone in. Because it didn't look like the right shot to play. But it, that's the way he plays sometimes. 22. He's a great potter. He believes he can pot anything on the table. And he just 23. didn't want to let that chance go begging. As it turns out, it's worked out for him. Just four points behind now. 29. Black doesn't go to the left corner. So off this ready, probably have to play for the pink to the middle. 30. And this pink will put him three points in front. He thought he'd missed it, and I'll be honest with you, so did I. Once he catches that near jaw, 36. they usually stay out. So three points to lead. He's going to need five of these remaining reds. 37. So hoping to play a cannon on that red full to be on the black. So that bit went wrong. He's on the pink, but a little bit to do here. After this pink, another 26 points needed, which means four more reds. Struggling 43. To get a complete hand on the cue ball. He's just losing it slightly. I think he feels the enormity of this frame as well. And as you said, you've just got to keep in the moment. Don't worry about the score. But he keeps popping them. 44. He's back in position now. But he's going to need one of the two difficult reds, the one below the black and the one the right hand side cushion. He's going to need one of those. If he's going to win the frame from this position. 17 points ahead. 50. <coughs> 51. Again. Slightly over hit. Starting to feel a little bit of tension in the arm. It's understandable. Great shot. Where's the cue ball? Have a look at it. Oh, just a little 56. bit short of pace. The right line, but.
Again, big target. Yellow, green, brown. Be, I think it'd be more prudent here, John, just to play off this red, off the right-hand side cushion. A little bit of left-hand side and try and get that cue ball up behind that yellow. And that'll be his intention. Just going to miss the green. Chuck Trump, 56. It looks good. It looks good. It looks very good now. So he goes back to his seat. 23 points in front. And Ronnie snookered on the three reds that remain. Shake of the head. Disappointed he didn't win the frame at that visit. But you feel he'll probably get another chance just over an hour of playing time. Ronnie needs to hit this lovely line. Played it beautifully, but he has left the red to the middle. And it's more or less a free shot. Be definitely taking it on as well. You've just got to be careful. Some of these balls have sort of fell to the near jaw. Let's have a look at it. No, not this time. Stayed pretty straight there. Looked like it was going the other way. I'd like to take the red from behind the black here, John. Knock it up the table. Try and keep the cue ball tight to this top cushion behind the black. Yeah, the only problem is with that red that's sort of level with the pink, it gives him a free shot to play safe off that. But yeah, he needs reds in play, does Ronnie? And you feel whoever pots the next red, the winner of this safety exchange, will win the frame. And that applies even though Ronnie is 23 points behind. Big frame, big moments in it. Very good shot from Judd. Ronnie with another problem. I don't think he can get past the brown to pot the red that's just above the blue. Well, he's got something in mind. Not quite certain what it is. Now, another mistake, and that mistake will probably cost him this fourth frame. Unbelievable scoreline at the moment for Ronnie O'Sullivan and his supporters. Not turned up yet. No, I'm very surprised. Let's see. Ronnie's pals in there, Damien Hurst, of course, in the audience. And they'll be as shocked as a lot of the Ronnie fans in the One. arena tonight, this afternoon. We aren't expecting this scoreline. Well, it's been all Judd Trump. Eight. Moment. Not only potting well and Nine. making some good breaks, but playing excellent safety, keeping Ronnie at bay, keeping him cold, keeping him away from the table. Every time he comes to the table, looks like he's tied to that ball cushion. And it's a very good performance from Judd 16. so far. Yep, he looks in complete control. He's calling all the shots. Look at Ronnie down at 62% pot success, although he's not had many to go at. So 39 a lead. Judd Trump, 16. One snooker, one four-point snooker to tie. It's not beyond the realms of possibility, this, particularly where the yellow, green and brown are. 
to get the snooker, that is. Well, I'm very surprised. I know what his plan was, pop the red in the middle, pop the black, and then play a snooker behind the brown off the yellow. But once again, Mr. Comparatively Easy's pot. So whatever else happens in this match, Ken, it'll be interesting to see how Ronnie O'Sullivan reacts now to this complete reversal at the start of this match. Yeah. And I think the interval is probably coming at a good time. I'll spend 15 minutes, sort of clear his head, maybe get on the practice table, hit a few balls. I know he doesn't normally do that, but it might be a good time. Because uh, at the moment, Trump is popping everything. Yeah, and this, to me, was the biggest flame of all that he's won. I mean, they're all important, but... He got in, he made a few, he looked a little bit tentative, made Eight. a few mistakes with positional side of the thing, but he's got over the line, that's the most important thing. Oh! oh. Well, Ronnie I still think Ronnie will just come right eight. enough, and, and Ronnie O'Sullivan walks out the arena, nothing to show for his efforts, but Judd Trump, well, it's like a dream come true. He leads Ronnie O'Sullivan at the mid-session interval of the Masters, 4-0.